<laughs> Dr. Nail Nippers, best of 2020. Number four. going to the VA yeah and so if we're more convenient I'm certainly happy to do it for you yeah. um, okay are you having pain from these nails no. at all really well it's a little bit from the when the shoe presses yeah he had trouble getting his they were sore when you tried to put your shoes on because they're yeah. so long okay and you use compression socks for the swelling here at all he had yeah. some, but you haven't been wearing them lately, though. No. You haven't been wearing them. Okay. Um, and you're only on those three medications, the big friend you said something for? Prostate. But you don't know what it is? I can call it in if you want me to give me no. the numbers. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. And the blood pressure med? I don't like know. a tenolol or um uh but they just changed it didn't they change it or something that it was the water pill then they took it off or something added in the cinepro they put a special pill in half a pill okay but you don't know what it is okay i can call it in yeah that would be great it's it's I'll get your number and then i call it in because and that's fine tell me. okay now what i want to have you do is i want you to pull your toes up towards your nose pull them out back Good. Now push me away. Push, push, push harder, harder, harder. Good. Now I'm going to have you relax and I want you to hold them up just like that. Don't let me pull them down. Hold them. Good. Now we're going to take this one and we're going to kind of flip it up and out to the side. Push against my hand here. Good. And this one. And push. Good. Now the last one we're going to do, I want you to point these toes down like a ballerina. Point your whole foot down like a ballerina and over toward my bottom drawer over there. Good, and push against my hand here. Okay, good. Now point these down like a ballerina and over toward, what's your name? Knees. Okay, good. Um, okay, I have a little wire here, okay? And I'm gonna just touch you very lightly with it, but I want you to close your eyes for me, okay? And tell me, where do you think, where can, where do you feel me touching you? Can you feel that? No. Okay, how about here? Do you feel this? All right. No. How about here? You feel me touching you here? Yeah. Where am I? Underneath my heel. Which one? Uh, right or left? Right. Okay, good. And how about there? Left. Whereabouts? Under my heel. Okay. And do you feel it here? On, on top of my foot. Okay. And how about over here? That's on top of my foot. Okay. Great. All right. So, other than the circulation, it looks like your sensation is okay. You know, not the greatest, but... I haven't cut the toenails. I can't reach. I bet. Down okay. there. Okay. Yeah, they don't look like it's they've been cut in a while, so we'll get them all trimmed short and thinned out for you and get you feeling pretty good. The, the VA, give, give me one of those pliers. pliers one of the pliers? <laughs> but if you can't reach your feet, yeah. they don't do you any good. Well, now you got to be careful I don't cut the, the blood. I don't, I don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah, understood. But you're not on any blood thinners, right? Oh, okay. Yes, okay. Okay. Oh, look, you got one nail that's completely normal looking. How does that happen? <laughs> You got one healthy one, Vern. A, a can. <laughs> but you know, it's not as abnormal as you would think. We, it's, it's, we see that a lot.
And you've been putting some Vaseline or kind of Vaseline. Vaseline on it. I don't know, I've always put it on my feet when I go to bed at night and keep my feet. I put a sock on it, keep my, my heels and everything nice and smooth. And so he said his feet hurt, and I said, well, put some Vaseline on them. Maybe that will help, I don't know. Yeah, I try and steer people away from Vaseline oh. because it's a petroleum-based product. And although it, it's making it soft, it's also, it thins out the skin. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. So... But you, mine gets so bad they peel, you know. Right, so there's, there's other lotions, and I'll show you a couple different options oh. for things that you can put on, and they don't have to be expensive. Oh, yeah. Um, but... Don't use the Vaseline anymore. <laughs> what, what do I use? Well, she's going to show some other stuff that's better. Yeah. You know, I even have a written up protocol to use Crisco. Crisco? Baking shorting. shorting. Oh, I got Crisco. Yeah. I got a whole big can. Just you will use Crisco. I got a whole can of that that's used for frying. And I fry my pork chops and stuff. Yeah, and, and that's, you know, it's inexpensive and yeah, it works and it doesn't thin out the skin the way that. Cheaper than Vaseline. Than Vaseline, the way Vaseline does. Don't have to be refrigerated. Yeah. Take some by my bed. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I learned something. Yeah. So I'll print. I'll give you the printed up sheet that shows how to use it. And for people watching the video, I'll have a link to it on the. That's gonna be way cheaper than buying Vaseline burn. You can buy a three pound can of that. That lasts. <laughs> <laughs> I can make cookies too. <laughs> yeah, or any, you know, any any lotion, if you use it, you know, every day, will also help, so. But you remember when, and, and hopefully Vaseline won't sue me for putting this on the internet, but do you remember when they came out with those little tubes that we used on our lips? Oh, Vaseline? Yeah. That? I mean, 40 years ago. And it felt really good while it was on because it kept your lips nice and soft, right? Yeah. But then as soon as it kind of dried up, your lips would peel. Oh. Is that like that Camfrin uh, that you buy? Uh, the Carmex? Carmex, yeah. No, that's different. That's different. Because mm -hmm. I use that all the time. My lips are always dry. Mm -hmm. And I have to carry it in my pocket. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They burn if I don't have it. Yeah, I'm cutting off whatever isn't attached, and I'm going to thin that all out and smooth it down for you, too, before we're done. She knows what she's doing, Bert. <laughs> so how did you find us? Um, this little Diane that comes to you, she lives in my building. Okay. And she says she comes here, so she gave me her foot thing mm -hmm. that had the address and stuff on it. Great. She's okay. in her 80s. I help her a lot. She lives in my building. I know exactly who you mean. Yeah, she's really a nice lady. She's very sweet. Okay. Listen now. What branch of the service were you in? The Navy. For how long? Four years. Okay. Where were you stationed? I was in Hawaii four times. Mm -hmm. Vietnam. Japan. Japan, yeah. Philippines. That's where you learn not to drink. The Philippines? <laughs> he had a story on that. He told me they went to shore and they had the real strong beer and he had too much and got, got drunk and they picked him up and took him back and he had to go before the head thing and stuff. And it, Well, it was his first time and he was really scared. and. So they let him off and didn't do anything. I said, don't do that again. He never touched any alcohol after that. <laughs> he never drank after that, young kid. <laughs> well, I'm sure you weren't the first, and you wouldn't be the last. Well, their beer is really strong there compared to here. <laughs> their beer is 12%. And what's ours? 
Is it three? Ours is about three or something? Or is it that much? <laughs> so your buddies carried you back to the ship? No, that... Or the police, the, the police? Well, the military police caught up with you? Military police, yeah. <laughs> Do you remember any of that? Or did you kind of black out from the alcohol? Oh, I can't remember, but they couldn't do nothing about it. <laughs> <laughs> I just went up to the captain and he said that not to do it again and we'll let you go this time. I guess everybody gets a one warning, huh? Yeah. What ship were you on? <coughs> the U.S. Hollister. Hollister. He still got his cup. I got it at my house that yeah. says U.S. Hollister and the ship on it. Is it a destroyer? Is it still in use? No. That's what I know of. Okay. It was taken out after I left. Well, it was no good without you anymore. <laughs> Am I hurting you, or are you just anticipating, because you keep pulling this away from me? No, you're doing a good job, dude. Okay, just making sure. This thing is all the short nails left over. Yeah, but it's going to be so much more comfortable. Now, that's our main goal, is to get you comfortable, and... Did that grow back on again? It'll grow back if, if we don't stay on top of it, but um, what I'd like to do is get you in every two to three months so that they don't get this bad again. Because what can happen is in an, if that nail gets too thick, it can cause an open sore under underneath in the skin. Look at that big chunk. Feels good just taking that off, huh? Think you're gonna need some smaller shoes? Well, he's got, uh, he's been just wearing those boots now so he don't slip and fall, but he's got uh, a 12 wide, I think he wears. They'll probably fit better. He has a hard time getting them on with the big toenails and stuff, so they'll probably be more comfortable. Right, that's what I'm but thinking. Yeah. Just don't want, I want him to keep wearing the boots as long as it's snow. I don't want him to fall down. I don't want him to fall down yet. I fell down Saturday night, sprained my ankle. and On the ice? No, I was going in my son's house, and I got going to take the step up, and the dog was there, and they were all greeting, and I was talking. As I took the step up, my ankle turned, and mm. I twisted it, and I went down. Then I went to ER the next day, and they gave me crutches. Well, when I got home, I was going with the crutches in the kitchen, and I didn't know how to use them, and I fell down and <laughs> hurt my shoulder and bruised my, I don't know, may have cracked the rib. I, when I breathe, it hurts, but I'm not going to the doctor. I didn't go that night. The only reason I went on Sunday was I got up. I couldn't get up. I crisscrawled crawl on my hands and knees. You couldn't put any weight on your ankle? No. Oh, and when I went to the bathroom, I couldn't even get up on the high toilet. I had to pee in a wastebasket. Oh. <laughs> so I thought, well, I better either call 911 or my son. So I called my son and he took me over to make the road. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to start over here.
feel so good you're gonna wanna go dance with the man. <laughs> Okay, so for this one normal one, so we don't spread any of that fungus to this one, we'll just use an emery board here. And then you got a couple calluses on the tips of a couple of these toes that I'm going to thin out a little bit. Scared to cut off. And you should be, because you know what? I can reach it better. And I can see it better from down here. You've done a great job, a lot better than what they did at the VA. They soaked in a pan of water and then they took the pliers and tried to cut it off, and that was it. <laughs> well, we're happy to have you back here. You know, I think they're, they're lines to get in and the weights are so oh, long at the VA. It's terrible. Yeah. It's enough just to go for your physical, you know, you may have to go for your glasses. You know, but I've heard some also some pretty great things about the VA in the city. Oh, so. yeah, they, they do good stuff. And like his glasses, it got so backed up that they went and had us go to a place out here and they paid for it. Yep. Because they... Right, when they didn't have podiatrists there after they fired them all, um, they were sending people out into the community doctors like us, so we were doing routine you know, they care. They didn't give me any information on it, they just said they quit it, and I couldn't get no information on it. 
Yeah, you know, and it was the same with us, depending on who you talked to there, people knew about it or didn't know about it, and so it was very frustrating for us too, but, all right. But then when I called Blue Cross, they said that they covered it, and, you know, I asked about coming here, and they yeah. said some about copay $10, so that's nothing. Okay, and then go a little wider and get both feet while I'm doing. You've never had such good looking toes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was the one that got them signed up for the VA and all that stuff. Yeah, and that also, how many veterans don't even have any idea how to do that? Yeah. So I'm just going to just put a little Band-Aid on there. And take, you can take that off tomorrow, and that will be fine. Um, it's not really bleeding, but we don't want to take any chances. Now, for the swelling in here, you see that kind of swelling? We call that pitting edema because I compress and leave a, a big pit there. Your, your compression socks are pretty important to help keep that down. Now, did you say that you usually wear them, you just didn't bring them in today? Well, he yeah. hasn't been wearing them for a while. Okay. should wear your compression socks, she said. Start putting them on. You got my shoe, or my sock thing, you can put them on there, be, make them easier to get on. That Remember that thing I gave you to put your socks on? That probably worked with your compression, e easier to get Is it them that on. that little thing that looks like a little cage and you put the sock over it and yeah. then pull it up? Yeah. Yeah, those are made four compression socks to make it easier to put them on. Because I had hip surgery and I bought that. Yeah. And so I borrowed it to him. So you guys start wearing your compression socks. And the best, the best thing is to put it on right away when you get up in the morning. Um, you can keep that rolling. I just want to trim down, there's a little bit of callus down under here. Did you say you had something hurting on your foot that one time? Was that the callus or what? Mm -hmm. No, that's a, there's a little di uh, dip, dip, dip on there. Right down here? Yeah. yeah, that's what I just yes, trimmed off for you. She just cut that off. She cut it off. So that cut it off? I just trimmed it off. Yeah, it's just a kind of a callus there. Yeah, see? So now you won't have that on there. Well, it'll come back. And yeah. we'll just trim it each time you come. But we'll get you on a schedule of every, like, two and a half months. And um, it won't take this long, and they won't be this bad again if we can keep you on that schedule yeah we don't live that far from here we just right. over up. yeah so right. on your way out she can make your next appointment for you um which is well, probably i don't go back to the va it's well, up to you not you can go to the va and not pay or otherwise you can pay ten dollars and come here they do a better job here than what they would at the va well thank you okay and it's not so hard to go well thank you for letting me do the video well thank you and